So yeah, I want to be able to build this kind of like wrap around thing that goes almost out to the end here. We have kind of an idea and uh, just basically, uh, we're gonna go old school. A tabletop is what we need. This is my doo-doo, give daddy kisses, daddy kisses. Good girl. <laughs> and where's the Robo buddy? There he is. Hey Robo. This is Robo. Are you gonna catch it? Are you gonna catch it? Ready? Ready? Good girl. Okay, so the mission for today is uh, we basically want to uh, build a tabletop here in the office. Okay, so uh, Melinda's going to document the progress with the camera. Say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. So over here on the other side, Melinda's going to point to what used to be uh, our office. And this was basically the space that we both used to work in, but... There's just so many computers, right? Like, it's only me and her working out of here. Just here, there's six six computers. What we're doing is kind of separating the two workspaces. And in this recording show, I have all my vinyl records, you know, because I, what, what, what? You know, I used to be a DJ cutting it up on the one and two. Uh, and and I, I, this this recording studio has been like in construction, really, for like, how long? A long time. Yeah, like, I don't know, four years, five years. And I'd be, I'd be working in here sometimes, working in there sometimes, it's like a mess, right? So we finally decided this one's gonna be my office, that one's gonna be her office. One of the problems we've been having is my screens, right? I have these big screens that I love. I love working on the three screens. My eyesight, like I'm getting freaking old, right? So I can hardly <laughs> see the distance, the size of this tabletop is way too small, you know, and I'm, I'm just too close to it. So we want to make it a bigger tabletop. And I have scoured the internet looking for something that is going to suit um, my my needs, my size, my depth, you know, the this actual corner. And I can't find something um, that, that really is going to suit my needs. I can buy something and kind of make it fit, but then, I, you know, I just won't be happy with it. So I'm just going to make it, you know, I'm going to spend the day making it. And um, what we're going to do is actually make a, a corner, a tabletop that'll build right onto this existing unit and it'll come out quite a bit further, like up to about here so that I can maintain a safer distance from the monitors and we're also going to extend it out to here. I whipped out the, uh, uh, what's it called? Measuring tape? Measuring tape, yeah. So <laughs> I'm glad I have Melinda around. We actually wanted to not waste any wood, right? Because the way it turns out is I'm going to need two eight by four planks of wood, but I'm really only going to need like this real tiny piece on that second plank of wood. So I'm like, man, what a waste, right? Then the other piece is just going to end up in my garage. So, you know, in your garage, you always end up with little, you know, from little projects and things, little pieces of wood, but you never quite have the pieces that you need to complete the, the next project. So you end up buying more wood and then you end up having this little collection. I think everybody in a corner of their garage has a bunch of like remainder wood from projects, right? So I think we also have some over there. This one, well, we'll probably use some of this stuff. Here we have our clamps. And we've got, um, this is just a piece of like crappy plywood. I don't think we can use it. I think that's left over from when we built that. So, well, when we hired <laughs> I was gonna to say. <laughs> what we did is we cut a little piece of paper, the size of a plank, and then I actually uh, cut out these little pieces so that we can actually design what, how we're gonna cut the wood. So, you know, I, I actually assembled it like this, just, just to figure out what's the best way, you know, to just use one piece of wood to accomplish what I need um, and, and to kind of fit it in this area. So we have kind of an idea of what we're gonna need and we're gonna try to put it together. Now, I know that some of you guys watching this are like carpenters, really handy people and craft, you know, I'm not that guy. All right, we're gonna make our list of stuff that we gotta get. We're gonna go to Lowe's. We're gonna go to Lowe's because we don't go to Home Depot no more. Nope. Only use Lowe's. We personally have boycotted Home Depot. We gotta buy our wood. We gotta buy our whatever little accessories, things that we're gonna need. And uh, and then we've gotta figure out how the heck we're gonna bring that stuff over. We're gonna do that. We probably have to be driving down Palmetto Road, holding the wood up on top or get them to deliver it or something. Anyway, enjoy the video and um, See you at Lowe's. Yeah, we'll see you at Lowe's in, in, in a couple minutes. Okay, so just pulled out of the house here, and uh, Melly Mel is driving. Hi. Um, we actually had to hose down the car, the, the windshield. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell, it's still a little wet, because 
it's love bug season. Now, if you're not from Florida, you're not familiar with love bugs, but they're nasty and they come out two times per year for about a week to two weeks each time. And there's just millions of them in the air. They just come up and they start mating and it's nasty. Melinda always, always, always gets parking, like right in the front. Like, how does that- Everywhere, everywhere I go. How does that happen? They just know I'm coming. What the hell? <laughs> Gotta go, oh man, it's so hot out here. Okay. We're probably gonna need one of these carts, right? Yep, you should grab it. Let me take this cart. Awesome. Oh, excellent. You knew we were coming. <laughs> this is the nice finished plywood. I mean, this is like ready to go right there. This is like the actual desktop. Like all you'd have to do is, just, you know, stain it or paint it or whatever, and that's like ready to go. This finish over here, super, super duper smooth. Really nice, uh, nice finish on that. All right. So it's uh, it's perfect. Melinda just wanted to show off her rock. Oh, I didn't even notice oh, that I one. I didn't even notice. I, I didn't want to show off my rock. We gotta make sure we get a nice, straight, flat piece. This is like really good wood, and it's a shame to, number one, waste it. So if I've got to get two pieces or three pieces, and we're just gonna need a 30 inch, uh, you know, uh, rip out of it, you know, I'd have all this leftover wood. That's number one. And then number two, I'm not a carpenter. You know, I don't have the best uh, hand tools. If I slip while I'm cutting one of these, uh, you know, it's, it's a wasted piece of good wood. You know what I mean? So, uh, kind of weighing out the options right now. So we're going to look at some different covering techniques and things like that. One option that we had is to go with the cheaper wood and then to, like, cover it with the laminate. They don't have a very good selection of it. Uh, and it's like they're these, like, huge huge pieces we'd have to cut it down to the size that we need that's the one option buying cheap wood and then covering it or the second option is going probably with the good wood which is I think what we're uh, what we're siding on doing People of Lowe's here are actually cut our wood in the dimensions that we need. But we ended up having to get two sheets of wood because the um, uh, we couldn't get all of our measurements out of one piece, unfortunately. So we got two, and we went with the uh, half inch not the three quarter inch, so we're using the half inch wood. And we decided to do that because of the weight, because we don't want to have three quarter inch on top of the three quarter inch that's there now, because this is really just gonna be a counter that we're gonna put basically on top of the current desktop, right? So, uh, just to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, so, yeah, let's go grab the rest of the stuff. All right, so the good thing about uh, having the lumber cut over at uh, at Lowe's is that we can fit everything into the back of the car here. We're gonna end up painting ours. We're, we got some um, some black uh, high gloss paint and uh, just a quart is all we're gonna need. And then we've also got some polycrylic uh, gloss uh, finish, basically some clear gloss finish that we're gonna do uh, over at the end. I got a couple of brushes, one for the paint, one for the finish. We've got a couple of little hardware things that we're going to need um, to, to join the pieces of wood together. So a couple of L brackets and stuff. i got a blade. Not, not really sure if we're going to be able to use this blade, but uh, I've got an old saw that I'm going to try putting this new blade on. And, uh, and then we got this little roller set here, which was quite a bargain. I think it was only like $4 or something like that. And I'm an impulsive, so I bought a little um, roller thingy. Uh, and then those are all our pieces of wood. And now we're heading home. There's a love bug in the car. Oh, we're invaded. We're, oh, wait, look, we can see a love bug. Look, uh, uh, back. Flew away. We got a love bug. Love bugs in, in, the, in the car. In the car. We've been invaded. I got it out. I got it. <laughs> 
So, back at the house now, uh, Melinda's super excited that I've decided to use her kitchen as uh, the work area. We've got this cool counter here that we can lay the, uh, the piece of wood on. And this is the main piece of wood that's going to be the corner. And uh, we, it, it's, it's basically going to be the corner of the desk. So we've got one main cut that we've got to do here, and then we've got to do another little cut. Um, one of the things that I am going to be doing is I'm going to be attaching a microphone stand to this, right? So we, uh, we actually have taken apart our mic stand. You can see over there on that counter, uh, we've got the, the bars that, that make the mic stand. Because all I really needed was this base. And we're going to be attaching the base with these little L brackets that we have. Uh, we're going to be attaching the base to the desk. Uh, we're also going to be drilling a hole through here using this uh, this little drill thing uh, for the for the rod, the mic rod to go through. We've also got to cut this little corner off so that we can run some wires through. What we're going to do is actually put the cuts in it right now, and then we'll be attaching the side sections. As you can see, we've emptied out the room that, uh, well, the area that, that the stuff's gonna go on. We already cut our wood. Uh, now I'm just cleaning out here. We took all of the equipment that was in here and we just like temporarily were storing it over in this room over here. As you can see, uh, we're gonna have a, a mess for a couple days, right? While the, uh, the table dries and all that. Melinda's excited about that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, the next step is going to be we're going to clean out the room real good, vacuum back there. And um, the good thing about, uh, you know, having it, having everything cleared out is we'll be able to assemble the desk here. And then I'll be able to tuck all the wires away really well because I'm like, that's one of my pet peeves. I don't like hanging wires all over the place. So I'll be able to use all the tie wraps real good and we'll be able to uh, tuck everything away nicely so there aren't any visible wires. Cool. Look at this one. She just wants to nap right on, right on top of the wires. Right on top of the cord. She's so cute. She is adorable. We've placed down the three main pieces of the, uh, of the tabletop, and uh, we've also attached a triangular piece here as some added support for the end. We're going to be attaching this. Now, right now, nothing is screwed in, nothing is attached. As you can see, this tabletop is basically just made up of three separate pieces. That's these two squares this one, this square, and this square here and then this like weird shape that we basically made out of these actually are two rectangles and this was actually a perfect square you can see we cut out the hole for the mic stand and we left some room in the uh, in the corner there we cut a little triangle piece with the wires to run through julia is crying because we had to um, block her out of the room while we're working in here is uh, picking up some screws right there. We've got most of the table fastened down and I just finished the mic stand. This is the contraption we had to rig up uh, and it actually came out pretty good. It's pretty sturdy. That's the boom stand for the mic. As you can see, we're basically using the table underneath, the little crappy table, uh, and just basically reinforcing it. We did some, some pretty serious, let me see if I can get underneath here for you. Uh, pretty serious reinforcements down there as you can see it's coming along day number two manual labor stuff I'm just not built for it we're almost there we've made excellent progress and uh, a couple of, of things to do as you can see we've already got the table top itself it is assembled it is attached we are good to go as you can see we obviously extended the desk here uh, and we created this uh, additional support at the end I made it triangular in shape, that way I can still access those uh, vinyl records back there. And uh, we've still got to make a support brace for the back of this so that, it, you know, it'll be strong. Uh, so, you know, we've got to attach those two things together, so we've got to do that. Um, we've also got to, as you can see over here uh, on the corner of the desk, we've, uh, uh, I'm a little indecisive even still. Uh, of whether I want to round off the corner, do I want a straight edge all the way over here, do I want to do a little uh, corner cut, I'm not really sure. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is just cut a little corner off, because you know, once you cut, you can't cut back. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it looks, you know, with a, with a little small cut, and we'll do that to both corners. Uh, once we cut the corners off, I definitely don't want something, you know, real big and pointy sticking out like that. What we'll do once we're done is we'll attach the molding uh, which we've got here and what we'll do is we'll attach this molding to the whole 
uh, outside and that'll be like the finishing touch on the outside. Now, the right way to do the molding I know is to use one of those fancy like air gun things with the little finishing brads. Way too professional for us. We're gonna go old school. Hammer and little nails and hopefully we won't crack it. Uh, we won't crack the wood as we strength, a manly strength. What are you smirking at? That's not funny. Camera man smirking. Uh, camera woman. We'll attach the molding then uh, we'll be ready to do the second tier, the second shelf, which is going to be where our monitors sit. So it's going to be like a little uh, three-piece shelf here. Let's get to work. project, my wife, Melinda, the helper and the cameraman, has had several genius ideas, okay? So you're several. saying I'm a genius? I'm, I'm saying you've had several <laughs> genius ideas, whether you cheated and had notes or something, I don't know. I didn't cheat. I just know that you came up with some pretty good ideas. One of them was uh, had to do with the, uh, the shapes that we were going to use to create the shelf. As you can see, we're actually... Um, assembling the shelf right now that is going to we, we've got some some pieces over here that are gluing still um, and this will eventually become the shelf that will hold up those monitors that are up there during all of my ridiculous measuring Melinda said why don't you just do this and I was like mm. so yeah she was genius it is now day three of our quick one day project my manly strength. In my defense, we have um, actually done uh, quite a bit of work. However, we've been held up with a couple of snags. Like yesterday, we took a three-hour nap and we watched the movie Tron. Great movie, by the way. I suggest you see it. Awesome special effects. Very entertaining. But it didn't really help us get much work done on the desk. So definitely, it's got to be something you like to do, right? Because it would have been a lot cheaper and a lot quicker to just, you know, hire somebody to do this. Uh, you know, professional do it for a couple hundred bucks. Uh, but in any case, I really enjoy doing this. We're in the home stretch right now. We had a couple of, uh, of little snags yesterday, building the, uh, the second tier, the little shelf. That was a bit of a problem. Some measuring issues and some things. We had to cut the wood. Uh, anyway, as soon as I put the mic on the, on the end of the stand, since it's a boom stand, it actually just toppled over. Strength. Uh, we were using these little um, fasteners to secure the mic stand, so we were basically just kind of holding the mic stand on with these things. And yeah, it was pretty secure, but this this is a boom mic that's got a swivel, so we need this thing to be really, really solid, or else you know, first time I, I you know I move it or whatever, it's just going to topple over. So uh, I've got I've got an actual uh, a better a much better idea. We're going to actually bolt it down using these uh, special fasteners that we got. Shelf is all done. It's sturdy. We left it clamped overnight. We have actually put some little blocks and uh, I, I used wood glue and we, we nailed it and glued it and then we used these clamps that I had for another project. Um, we basically attached it with these clamps and we held it together. I actually got these clamps when I built those speakers up there. I actually built the cabinets myself. So we're going to fix the mic stand, we're going to put the molding on the shelf and then the last bit of construction thing that we have to do is we have to brace the extension. It's not quite as sturdy as the rest of the desk because it needs a support brace in the back like this. We've got this piece of wood here that we need to add to the back. Once I cut down to that down to size, we're going to attach it to the back. We're going to secure it with some of these L brackets like that to the back of the, uh, uh, of the desk and that'll make it a lot stronger. Strength. Then the uh, final thing to do is going to be to uh, paint it and then uh, put the protectant on it, which is going to be the um, the polycrylic stuff that we bought. We're going to need to let it dry at least a good 24 hours, maybe even more. What's going to happen is the monitor is going to stick to the paint and the wood, and the first time you try to move that monitor or whatever, it's just going to you know rip up the paint and the wood and all that. It's going to be a bloody mess. Enough with the blabbing. It's time to get to work. It's time to uh, uh, make a quick trip over to Lowe's and 
and get some final little pieces that we need for the mic stand. This will be our last day of construction and we'll end this with a uh, painting shot. Looks like we've gotten the molding on. We, we finished our brace down here. Um, still waiting for the glue to dry, as you can see. We put the molding on our uh, on our little uh, um, second tier shelf there. Um, we uh, attached our brace down below there, so that looks like that's good to go. And as you can see, we found a much better way to uh, to hold the mic stand down. We brought the drop cloths in, and uh, as soon as we put them down they decided they were gonna make a bed out of it. So, we're going to have to move uh, Romeo and Juliet in order to be able to start painting. But, uh, but they look so cute. After uh, after we get them off of there, we're gonna set the uh, drop cloth up underneath here so we don't get any black paint anywhere. We're gonna paint the, uh, the shelf in a different area of the house. We're gonna paint that probably over in the garage. So uh, you're probably wondering, what the hell is all of that wire for? Well, these are all the wires from all the different tracks, you know, from the different reel-to-reel. -reel. I have those old vintage reel-to-reel -reel machines. I have the keyboard, I have the mixing board, and lots of other uh, devices. And these wires are what connects everything to the central mixing board. We're getting there, we're getting there. We've already put the monitors down. We got the mic stand working and everything, with the pop filter, so uh, it's coming along. And uh, once we're all done with the uh, with the wires, we'll be able to power it all up, and you'll be uh, you know you'll be seeing us in action. So we're finally done. It took us a little bit longer than we anticipated. So it was actually four days to complete this one day project. But in the end, it's come out uh, really good. Ran into a bunch of challenges here and there, but the final product looks pretty good. We've accomplished what we set out to do. We've created a much bigger workspace. We've made use of the old desk that was there and we've built over it. We've created a lot more work area and uh, made better use of the space. And we've also accomplished the, the mission of putting the, the monitors at a better level and, and a further distance from my eyes so that it's not killing my eyes every time that I sit down. If I had it all to do over again, I'd definitely do some things differently. I'd do a lot better planning. We have kind of an idea because I did have an idea of what I wanted and I drew it out kind of, but I didn't really go into real detail. And uh, that ended up causing us to make several trips back to the store. Uh, for example, we we knew that we wanted to put a molding around the desktop, and we did. We bought the molding for the desktop. We measured it, and we and we did that. But then we totally, totally forgot that we were building a second tier to the desk, and there was going to be like this little shelf, and that was going to need a molding too. So that was a trip back to the store. And then, of course, in the excitement of the molding and all that, we forgot the screws, the, the, uh, the little nails, the finishing nails. So that's another trip back to the store. Uh, we made a bunch of mistakes with the cutting of the wood. Measure twice, cut once. Overall, very pleased with it. It's definitely something that you have to enjoy doing because uh, you can definitely get it done a lot better and a lot quicker if you just outsource it. Overall, I think the entire project cost us 
uh, I don't know, about 150 bucks in supplies and $2,000 in time lost. It was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed doing it. We even created this additional little work area over here. I can have Melinda sit here with me when we're working on projects and when we're doing a group call. If I have any clients here at the time that want to sit down, we're able to hook up all the extra equipment, you know, the DJ equipment and uh, uh, the recording stuff, the two mixing boards. I've got the 16 channel board over here for all the music stuff. And then over here, we've got the uh, the, the little board for the microphone. Uh, we've got a really good condenser mic that we use there for our videos. All the computers are already connected. It took us, I don't know, I, I want to say about six hours just to do all the wiring. Uh, we've got the, the Mac Daddy, Mac Pro, eight cores deep right there. Uh, a couple of PCs that, that I use for different things. All the speakers, all the audio, everything is all wired up. And uh, we're rocking and rolling and we're ready to uh, put it to use. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. We've had a lot of fun doing it. I invite you to leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. All right, so take care. Mm -hmm.